どうして出ないんですか紙がないからです。Were you able to pick up the basic parts of the question and answer pattern? Minesan was puzzled as to why the copier wouldn't work. Here's what he asked Sugihara san. どうして動かないんですかどうして動かないんですか This means, why doesn't it work? Or, why doesn't it move? これを押さないからです。これを押さないからです。It was because he hadn't pushed the main switch. But even after she pushed it for him, he still couldn't get a copy. And so he asked her, Why doesn't it come out? どうして出ないんですかどうして出ないんですか Now, listen to her answer. 紙がないからです。紙がないからです。That means, It's because there isn't any paper. Well, let's go back to the skit about Jan and see one more example. Were your ears able to pick up the basic form? どうして品物を置いてきたんですか What does his question mean? Listen to the part that's underlined. 品物を置いてきた。品物を置いてきた。品物 means the merchandise and 置いてきた means leave. So Jan was asking her, why did you leave your purchase? Naturally, he wondered why she didn't take it with her. Well, what was her answer? Again, listen to the part that's underlined. Haitatsu means delivery and tanonda means requested. Her explanation then means it's because I requested delivery or it's because I asked that it be delivered. Well, I think you've gotten a pretty good idea of how to use this method of asking why and giving the reason. So let's go on to another method of explaining why. ではいただきます。Could you tell just by listening how this method of answering is different? But before we get into that, what did the question mean? どうして食べないんですかどうして食べないんですか It's in exactly the same form as the questions we've studied up to now in this lesson, isn't it? It means, why don't you eat? The answer, though, follows a slightly different pattern from sentence one. Listen to the two examples marked two. Mine san said, My tooth hurts. And Kaiho san said, 
my stomach hurts. They said these things to explain why they weren't eating. These two sentence types are very close in meaning, but on the whole, pattern one seems to be used more when one needs to explain cold facts in the form of an objective statement, while pattern two is used more to explain subjective and personal factors. Now, let's have you practice giving some explanations yourself. Since it's probably still freshest in your mind, let's begin with the last scene. You answer Sugihara-san's questions just as Mine-san and Kaiho-san did. Hara, どうして食べないんですか? He seems to want to say that his tooth hurts. You go ahead and say it in his place. Hara, どうして食べないんですか? Kaiho-san wants to say that his stomach hurts. How should you say that? どうして食べないんですか? そうですか。では。いただきます。自転車。There are some places in Japan where there are bicycle lanes. Having the picture makes it easy to understand, doesn't it? Now, let's see what sort of Japanese is used in the next scene. There was a new question there. どうしたんですか means what's happened or often what's the matter? どうしたんですか? どうしたんですか? The doctor used どうしたんですか? to ask Kaiho-san what was the matter, and he answered that his stomach hurt. But then the doctor had to use the same question in a very different situation. どうしたんですか? どうしたんですか? They heard a strange noise and found that it was Sugihara-san pounding on a vending machine. When Dr. Mine asked her what was wrong, she answered that her can of juice wouldn't come out. The doctor used this particular question to ask what was the matter when something out of the ordinary seemed to have happened. Now, see if you can use this question in this next situation. Yeah, they can get the gimas. It's a shit. 